Oh, not this take again. Like a desert eagle. Yeah. I'm tripping, but don't think I'm slipping, player. I'm tripping, but don't think I'm slipping, player. I'm tripping, but don't think I'm slipping, player. I'm tripping, but don't think I'm. I'm back. I'm back where we left off at. It's like my booty had to fight with the toilet. Healthy stuff make you poop. Really bad. Now let's kill this nigga right here. Oh, I already killed him. I was ready this time. They wasn't gonna hit me up. And last time. Oh, yeah. Rust had crept over the sides of the cargo steamer a long time ago. Boris Dime would be on board. I'd have to smoke half of his crew to even get near the gangplank. Guns were probably being kept in the hold, buried amidst the rats and oily water. I'm gonna keep on not doing this. I can tell him to flee. Can he just bust me? Of these shoot these niggas. Hey. Hey what? Hey now, hey now, don't be more than his name. Max Payne. Right the first time. You're dead punk. You sure you're not confusing me with Boris here? But you are right, of course. Pretty soon we should get together and have a talk. You son of a Pissing Punchinello off was a dangerous game. But when people get mad, they make mistakes. I should know. That's where I wanted Punchinello, mad enough to trip over his own feet. Preferably into a grave.
That was an odd for a ten of events. Shut up, fat boy. Tell the devil that died sent you. You ever heard of Good Night Lee? Everything you need? Check. I owe you. Anything you need. This is my solo. When I'm through, Punchinello won't be anybody's problem anymore. Clear as vodka. But anytime you get between a rock and a hard place, just whistle. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You really get a bang out of this big time gangster act, don't you? See, it's not always bad. <laughs> it's good sometimes. No pain. No gain. No. <laughs> Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? Yeah, I know it. One hour. Punchinello's restaurant had seen better days. We're gonna kill Punchinello for one Snow time. And for one time only. And get this chopper over with. So he go to third chapter of this high goddamn high gone game and be done with it. I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up. But there was no crime in hoping. We're ready for the war. Hold this place. No, no. Yeah, big Israeli hook is the rock in the holy place. Fly you everywhere. And this gonna take me a long time. I seen my nigga Chase do it. He can't do it very well, so I'm not gonna be able to do it very well. Even with all this. I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up, but there was no crime in hoping. Okay, I'm trapped in a rock in a hard place. So it looks like. Oh, never mind.
see we just good good for business blew it nobody cares even with all this I knew it was a long shot Angelo Punchinello actually showing up but there was no crime in hoping Shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up, but there was no crime in hoping. Why did I go that way? Why? Why the? Why? Even with all, I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up, but there was no crime in hoping. Took me four tries, man. That was easy. Now it's time for war. It blow it slow when I move. When I move, it was blow. What if I shoot? Did I get shot or something? Cause I know I didn't explode.
they had a map on him. <laughs> That's gonna always get me. I don't know where I'm supposed to go at. If I'm supposed to turn around and see what's going on behind me when that thing is blow. I said I caught the grenade for you. I said no more second. Shots anyway in your face, blowing brains like I got a uh, splatter all over the place. She a thought, he a thought, we a thought, he a thought. Money on my The monsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. There he is. I need to come, man, that he jumped in the way. He got shot in the face. He's a stupid dumb nigga. He should have never did that. That was dumb in your face. Ain't no baby fast song. Stop the hip song like you did. So, seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the banshee well of the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, he will look the look he will. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Smutter. <laughs> The night groaned with cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only let them. Punchinello wanted pain. He'd see the pain. Yeah. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick, no matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no road map. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck. And anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, as long and as hard as you could. Someone had graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano, Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. Yeah, I miss, 
I miss y'all can y'all can quote me on that. I miss I miss very good. Now we gotta sit through this it's like we gotta sit through that stupid face people. Upstairs the trio tango down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. His face. Vince Mignano. No face. Pilot Providence, aka Big Brother. No and Joe face. Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. In death, the thug had been promoted to messenger. Someone hadn't enjoyed the Don's hospitality. Someone with a flair for the dramatic. Someone who had let herself out of a locked cell and passed a couple of armed guards. My thoughts were on Mona again. I could only hope she was a good enough gambler to walk away while she was still winning, before she'd run into the trio. Kiss the deer, I let you all the fun they open. This wine cabinet thing. It didn't take me long to run into the trio. The word on Lisa Punchinello was that she was a bit of a witch. The tarot cards on the kitchen table fit the picture. They weren't my kind of cards, but I was willing to take a crack at the hand Mrs. Punchinello had dealt. The first card was the tower. Maybe that was supposed to be the manor. It got easy after that. The devil was the master of the house, and death was me coming for him. I'm coming for you. I'll just start off the money. Let me back up. Let me back up. I'm still chilling, I'm not even up. Go through this session to get. I should not have did that. That was stupid. The night groaned. 
Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Ugly. Vince Mignano, Even Pilot uglier. Providence, a.k.a. Big the Dog, ugly is. and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. In death, if I had right. been promoted to messenger. It's pain. It's X pain. I'm just a. I'm just a. I'm a bad guy. <laughs> Let's get this little Maxi Max. That must be Max Pin. But I'm the Maxiest you can never see. Now let's go kill these knuckle CPs. It didn't take me long to run into the trio. The word on Lisa Punchinello was that she was a bit old. You need to get these painkillers. Do this again. Okay, we're gonna make a plan. The night grew. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano, Pilot Providence, aka Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin. Knowing me to the bone. We gonna pull out with this little bit of a big guy. Give me the tough one, I'm gonna see. I caught it up now, I got blood on my hand. See, I got that dead person. That dude just put up behind me. He was like, well, good evening. The night You're grown was cold. Little fool. Upstairs, the trio tagged down will. the manor halls to the Let silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. No. Vince Mignano, Pilot Providence, aka Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. 
The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. Two two threes, AR fifteen, carbon nines. That's all I mean. Hey, it didn't take me long to run to the trio. I'm about to say what a trio. Okay, let's reload this. and Out of that, we would kill a little blood.
see what happens when you go to the right. You turn to the right, then move to the left. Back it up now. Then jump. And then die. M7, I mean. And an M9. I said that M9. Actually, it's AKA China. And nobody knows the real death name of it. They called it China because it was made in China. Correctly. It was too late for her. You're a real angel, Max. I couldn't tell whether it was Mona or her sister. The body was a mess. The sick bastard had really gotten a kick out of it. Seeing her lying there got me thinking about another woman's body on another bed. Got me thinking about a falling cradle. Touch of a sentimental crying baby cell phone. Done for. Outside my door. Hurry. It's coming for me. I gotta hurry. Please. I could hear Punchinello on the phone begging for help. He should have been saying his goodbyes. Punchinello was a pushover. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. No, wait. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. He was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. No. I told him not to... <laughs> I'm gonna use 
actually this is what they use the word is. It was too late for her. done for. I said, I got me some animal grams. Y'all about to die, please. outgunned. It was time to take another beating. The mystery witch was a real barracuda. Trouble in dagger heels, a smoking assault rifle in her hand, and an army of killer suits behind her. How sweet. I get to kill two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne, it's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah! You were fresh out of cash. A vortex of green blood. Part three. Finally! I told you if I finished this, I would be on part three. Gentlemen, we're done here. Take me to Cold Steel. She had just given me an OD of Valkyr. I could feel green fire eating my brains. Now I gotta go through this. Flash. Oh, I'm not dead again. Who's there? Max? Max, is that you? No, it's, it's Bruce. Max? Where are you, Max? We're coming, Please. baby. Oh, come on, baby. No, please, Max, no. I'm sorry. Please don't, Max, no. Please. No, 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 please, God, no. Yes, yes, please, God, yes. Max? Where are you, Max? Please. Funny as hell. I've probably finished the game already. The letter was staring at me. Someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. The caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a graphic novel. The truth split my skull open, a glaring green light washing the lies away. All of my past was just fragmented still shots, words hanging in the air like balloons. 
I was in a graphic novel. Funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. The weird piece of paper looked dangerous. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain. Weapon statistics hanging in the air, glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. Endless repetition of the act of shooting. Time slowing down to show off my moves. The paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. bad line in a prank call. Someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu, and the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. Oh, not this thing again. Yeah, we're going this right here. Yeah, I'm gonna do this later. See